This summer for my 63rd birthday, I went to a dive in a sketchy section in South Holyoke. The band was great, and my dance buddy Monique and I had a blast. Afterwards, we walk out arm in arm and we get to our cars in mid-platonic hug. This guy from the hood comes up and asks for a ride to a local bus station. It's already like 12.20, but I figure, sure, I'm going that way, hop in, I'll give you a lift. We get to the first light, and he takes out a plastic bag of drugs and says he wants me to buy it from him for 50 bucks. I said, look, man, I said I'd give you a lift. I didn't say I would buy anything from you. He said, man, you're going to buy this for 50 bucks or else. And then he shoved his hand in his coat pocket, and I heard a metallic click. Suddenly, lights flashed in my rearview mirror. The hood leapt out. Never. I never thought I'd be glad to be pulled over. I turn around, and there's no cruiser. Just an ordinary car with my wing woman, Monique, behind the wheel. Shaken but stirred by her gratitude, I mean by her kindness, I had it for home. It was late, 1.15 in the morning, and I still had a good 40 minutes to go. But adrenaline had me wide awake, gratitude kept me good company. I listened to Colleen Katow's CD on my CD, <laughs> and uh, I got home, and 10 minutes from my driveway, like deja flash, I see the blue light swirling in my mirror. And this time it's no Monique. Because Monique's first three words would not be license and registration. <laughs> the license is no problem, I got it right in my pocket. I open the glove compartment to get the registration, and in plain sight is a plastic bag of drugs. <laughs> nah, I made that part up. <laughs> but I can't find the registration, and the cop is not amused. He says, So, uh, let me get this straight. They're operating a vehicle without a registration. It's going on 1.30 in the morning on a weeknight, and I got you doing 49 in a 35 mile per hour zone. That tells me one of two things. Either you've been hitting the bottle heavy, or you work as an entertainer. I thought quickly and chose the latter category. <laughs> he says, so you in a band? I say, yeah. He says, what's the name? I said, River Rhapsody. He says, how many pieces? I said, five. He says, what kind of music? I say, mostly covers and originals. And I'm starting to think, is there some kind of Miranda rights for musicians? <laughs> I said, what do you play? I said, harmonica. He said, prove it. <laughs> I said, what? He said, you heard me. Pick up a harmonica and step out of the vehicle. <laughs> I grab my A-harp and I exit with my hands up. He says, prove you're a pro. I don't know what to play. I've never had to pass this kind of sobriety test before. But I, what can I do? So I go. I look down and I can see the trooper is tapping his boot. <laughs> Inspired, I break into a boogie. And the cop is keeping right with me. It's two in the morning, and me and a state trooper are doing a duet. I finish with a flourish. The cop is grinning from ear to ear, and he says, Wow, what a cool sound, harmonica. Man, that's a happening instrument. I just, I love that instrument, harmonica. He says, get back in your car. I'm not going to give you a ticket. Just make sure you locate your registration and drive home safe. Takes a glance at my license, goes to hand it to me, and stops. He looks at me a little sternly again, and he says, I got just two words for you. Happy birthday. Aww. <laughs>